Good morning, everyone, and good afternoon and good evening to those of you who are worshiping online. It's worship time, so I want you guys to sit up straight, have your Bible ready, and have your heart fixed on God. Let us pray together as we open our worship. Eyes closed, put your hands together. Lord, we love you and we thank you for being our Heavenly Father who takes care of us. And Lord, I pray and I bless all the people who are worshiping online around the world. I pray that they were they get to have this blessing that you have in store for us. And then as we listen to Pastor Sarah as she speaks to us, I pray your word will be opened up to us and that we are we are to uh, learn how to live and how we are to just glorify you in all that we do we thank you please be with us throughout the worship in jesus name we pray amen now it's time for worship everyone or praise everyone stand up praise the lord Woo! god is over the moon it's crazy about you so true God is over the moon God is over the Before even time began, my 
Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, let's pray together. Uh, let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Heavenly Father, uh, loving God, merciful God, uh, what a wonderful Sunday to worship you. Uh, even though many of us cannot be here together in person, uh, we're so blessed to be in the presence of the Lord. Holy Spirit always guides us and keep us so that we may always look to the cross and lose our ways. Uh, Lord, uh, we uh, confess and repent our sins before you, and uh, may you be merciful and forgive us of our sins. We open up our hearts to you so that we may receive your words and live according to your ways. Uh, plus, uh, we uh, pray for our Young Sang Church and the uh, elementary department. Lord, uh, may you bless the church and the uh, elementary department uh, so that may your uh, kingdom will continue to grow uh, through the church and through the uh, uh, department, uh, elementary department. Lord, may uh, Lord, all many souls turn, repent and turn back to you, Lord. And Lord, uh, we uh, pray for all the missionaries in the world and uh, we pray for them as well during these difficult times uh, may they have continued to not lose faith in you may continue to stay uh, continue uh, stay strong in, in, in your in the faith and lord and may their work continue to grow lord and may you always just take care of them lord lord uh we pray for uh, uh, uh Sanim as she delivers her message today May her uh, message be powerful and life-changing, Lord, and may it mold us to be more like Christ. Uh, Lord, uh, right now we pray, uh, uh, remember especially for those who are uh, uh, ill and having difficult time, Lord, uh, just we pray for, pray, that, pray for them, Lord. May you reach out, to, reach out with your healing hands and may you reach out with your comforting words and may you comfort them and give them peace and may may you just heal them quickly lord uh so they may come and worship together again with us lord uh, lord uh, uh we pray that uh, at this time that holy spirit just be with us uh during the worship and lord uh we pray all this on our uh saviors jesus christ's name amen uh, let's all uh, confess our through uh, our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell, and on, on the third day he arose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven and seated on the right-hand side of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Holy uh, Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of our sins, the resurrection of our body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you had a wonderful week. I know we were hit with snow last week, and we had a wonderful weather, kind of, with all the rain washing off all that snow but i hope that you are doing well well this morning we're going to open to book of psalms 139 chapter 14. please open to the bible psalm 139 chapter 14 and this is god's word i praise you for i am fearfully and wonderfully made wonderful are your works my soul knows it very well. And God's people says, Amen. Wasn't that a beautiful verse we just read? I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. As you all know, Book of Psalm was written by King David. When King David was in trouble, when his heart was troubled, he always turned to God and praised God. And the book of Psalm was a collection of his poetry, words that lifted up God and acknowledged who God is. 
and one verse this happens to be one of my favorite verses I, I always try to remember as I live my life that I myself is fearfully wonderfully made by God this verse tells us so many things about God that God created all things and all the works that we see around the world is mighty handprint of God. Well, starting this week, boys and girls, Pastor Solomon and I will be starting a new lesson. We're going to be covering catechism questions. What is a catechism? Well, catechism is something that we as believers need to know. It's a basic foundation of our faith. And the first several questions might be a little bit easy, but as it goes, it might get harder. But I hope and pray that through this lessons that we will know and learn more about what we truly believe and how we ought to answer those questions based on the scripture. The first five questions that we learned today would be, when I ask a question, you're going to answer and then going to see it on the screen. Are we ready? Question number one, who made you? God. Question number two, what else did God make? God made all things. Three, why did God make you and all things? Well, for his own glory. And question number four, how can you glorify God? By loving him and doing what he commands. And question number five, why are you to glorify God? Because he made me and takes care of me. As you all learn from book of Genesis, as we read the first several chapters, we know of the, cre the story of the creation. When you look out the window and see all the different things, and we just experience nature of snowstorms and the rain and the sunshine, you always wonder like who could predict those weathers? And sometimes a weatherman, sometimes miss and those are just predictions studying how the pattern goes but yeah who is in control and who knows all things about this earth well we know that in book of genesis god created the heavens and the earth and all the things on the earth you know that when god said that there be light on the first day god created light on the second day, he spoke that there be expanse between the sky and he created the atmosphere. He created the clouds. And when he spoke the third day, let there be dry land and he made all the plants. On day four, he spoke and there was sun, the moon and the stars in the sky. On day five, we know that God created the, all the sea creatures and the flying creatures, the birds and, um, and all the things that live around. And on the sixth day, we know that God spoke and there was land animals of every kind. But there's one thing that God created differently. He gathered the dust of the ground and he breathed it into the nostril, the spirit. And God awakened the very first man and his name was Adam. This is what we believe. We believe that God created the heavens and the earth and all the things around us and even ourselves. 
Well, boys and girls, you know, there was someone who was not happy about God. And who was that? The fallen angel, Satan. He wanted to scheme and trick Adam to sin against God. And what, when God created Adam and Eve, God gave the Garden of Eden for them to freely experience God's goodness. And they didn't have to worry about anything. Yet, when Satan disguised a serpent to deceive Eve and Adam, the sin entered the world and death entered the world. And as our enemy continues, continue, as our enemy continued to work to trick people and to scheme people and to draw people away from God, that still continues even till this day that we face our spiritual battles day to day as believers. Boys and girls, we know that we were created to glorify God. God gave us that freedom and he even gave us that free will that is different from the rest of the creation. But yet, our enemy is trying to teach people that this world has come from this big explosion called Big Bang or um, the evolutionary theory, which teaches that we came from monkeys. Just like monkey had two eyes and one nose and one mouth and two legs and two, two arms and they could walk like us, that we our origin is from monkeys? No way. Our Bible tells us that we were fearfully and we were wonderfully handmade by God. And he breathed it into our nostrils by giving him, giving us the image of God. And that is why we have the free will. Do dogs have free will? Do monkeys have free will? No, they don't know how to make decisions. All they do is just explore and live. But look at us. We're able to think. We're able to compose. We're able to analyze. We're able to calculate. We're able to do so many different things with the characters that God has built in us. Even Isaiah chapter 43, verse five and seven said, fear not for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west and I will gather you. I will say to the north, give up and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the end of the earth, everyone who is called by name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Even prophet Isaiah acknowledged God created all things and that we are created in a special way. Now, due to so many media and things around us, people, our enemies, have schemed people to create this image of idols, how we ought to look like certain someone to look beautiful, or we have to have certain knowledge and status or we have to be so talented to be accepted into a group. But boys and girls, all those things are 
worthless if you don't have Jesus in your heart. Jesus has given us that freedom over sin, freedom over death, for us to glorify God through our life and through Him that we are able to accomplish all the things for His kingdom. When you look in the mirror, do you know that you're beautifully and wonderfully created by God? When other people might say, you're not good, you're not beautiful, or you're not pretty, or you yourself think that way, I want you to turn to this verse and acknowledge that you are a masterpiece that God has created. Oh, so what if you can perform better than your brother or sisters, or you're not as smart as your friend, or you're not as talented and gifted as someone who lives next door? When you have Jesus, knowing and understanding that God created you and fearfully and wonderfully made that you are God's masterpiece. And God is going to do so many great things for his kingdom. I want to just challenge you this morning for you to know that whether we're short, we're tall, or big smile or little smile, or maybe you might think you're not as good as others around you. Think again, because you are fearfully and wonderfully made by our God, and you are God's masterpiece. And God wants you to know that it is him who created the world. It is him who created us to glorify his name and that a life is filled with his goodness. I want you to be reminded that this week and as you go out, love the people around you. Why? Because God created them as well. So I want you to go out and love those around you that God has blessed you with and to reach out with Jesus' love. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Heavenly Father, as we are a beautiful creation by you, we pray for your special provision and protection upon this world. As our enemy, Satan, continues to attack people to um, stay away from God. Help us to be more strong in faith and that we live our life glorifying your name. We thank you for your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, boys and girls, let us close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever. Amen. All right, boys and girls, have a great week, and stay warm.